All right, this is uh, Marlon Huber here. We'll just do a quick movie about a jug water. This is our cutaway of a 202 jug water. Uh, the fundamental difference between a jug water and other waters is our water reservoir is down underneath here. This is about a 14 gallon reservoir down here. Most all traditional waters, the water reservoir sits up top. The sunlight hits the water, the algae grows around the edge, and you get a black sludge on the bottom from feed that drops into it. So these waters, the water reservoir is down underneath, and this area right here is called the feed trap. So how it works is wherever you set your float height, which is up here on in, in the inside, you can set that float height from the outside of the water. That'll determine the level of the water inside the reservoir, and the same water level will be out here in the bowls. So I only have my water maybe an inch deep or so. Now this is called the feed trap area, but what how it works is when the animals come to drink, the, uh, they start drinking and the water flows up both these copper pipes as fast as they're drinking. If you look on the inside of here, you'll see these copper pipes have slots on them. So when the water comes out, it causes the water to swirl. And so if they drop any feed into there, the feed will stay in suspension and they'll suck it back up and it stays very clean. Granted, that principle works better for large animals like cattle and horses because they have a higher volume of water coming through there, but for sheep it stays fairly clean. We might get a little bit of straw and stuff up in here. But there's no way that anything can go back down the front, through the feed trap down to the reservoir. The only thing that can go back down is you'll see this white tube here has a cap over the top and there's slots around the side of that cap. And when water gets cold, it gets heavy. Four degrees Celsius, it's at its heaviest point. So that cold, heavy water will naturally flow back down the center tube and get replaced by warm water coming up the copper tube. So it slowly sits there in cycles. But it's virtually impossible to get feed to go back down through that feed trap area to the reservoir. There is a drain plug for the reservoir. It's really only for water sediment and such. 